What's up world? You're back with me Sangi, your history geek. Thanks a lot for the feedback on the episode on Kurt Gustin. In fact, it propelled me to work harder on this episode. Today, we are going to be talking about a story from Nepal. The famous Gurkha community or the pride of Nepal have fought in all the wars that British India has been subjected to. These brave kukri slashing warriors have gone relatively unnoticed by the world. They had played an immense role in winning World War II as well. They had blocked most of the invasions by the Japanese and proved that they are a force to be reckoned with. Is that a hero today? No. There are heroes whom we are talking about today. Our first hero's name is Bhan Bhakta Gurum. He was a Nepali soldier who joined the British Indian Army in 1940. This was the time when British India was fighting against Japan in World War II. Gurung was a soldier who didn't care about his life and took hold of five important strategic Japanese locations with nothing but his knives and grenades. He was drafted to the 3rd Battalion of the 2nd King Edward VII's own Gurkha Rifles. Yes, that's an army unit's name. He was posted in Burma in circa 1943 to take back a hill known as Snowden East from the Japanese troops. The Gurkha's orders were to take back the hill at any cost. As they advanced, they were pinned by the Japanese troops who fired at them with machine guns. Many soldiers in Gurung's battalion died and they couldn't call for help as they were trapped by the Japanese. It was just waiting for death as they had run out of ammunition. But Gurung thought otherwise. He took his bayonet, grenades, knives and charged ahead completely ignoring the enemy fire. He went to five sites, killed the Japanese there, sacrificed his right hand fingers and secured the hill till help arrived. When he retired in 1947, he was at the rank of Havildar, a higher rank or a sergeant. He eventually died a natural death in 2008. What a courageous man. That was the act that earned him the Victoria Cross, Britain's highest military award to the British and Commonwealth soldiers. The English government has set up a Gurkha museum in England for the selfless brave Gurkhas. I guess they do say, if you see a person who says he's afraid of nothing, he's either lying or he's a Gurkha. People who are always taken for granted are the Nepalis. We can't even count the number of migrant workers who have selflessly helped and guarded our houses. But we don't see the selfless act they perform, but it's never too late for anything. Let's begin to respect all our Nepali brothers and sisters, and actually all communities for that matter. For the Nepalis, today I'm singing a Nepali song, and most of you may know the Hindi copy of it. It was actually composed by a band called Himalayan Band, an all Gurkha team of musicians. It's titled Musu Musu Hasan.
So that's it for today. Support my channel and if you enjoyed it then like, share, subscribe. See you next fortnight. Let's keep learning and never stop having fun.